Moving on, Gaza health officials report dozens killed in an Israeli strike as the focus on Israel's war against Hamas militants shifts to the besieged territories south. And now Israel's relentless air and ground offensive has left much of Gaza in ruins and killed over 20,000 people, mostly women and children. And the health ministry in Hamas-run Gaza said that at least 70 people have been killed in an Israeli airstrike that hit a number of houses in a refugee camp. And the ministry said that the strike destroyed houses in Al-Maghazi camp in the center of the Palestinian territory. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that the war was exacting a very heavy price as the toll of soldiers killed in fighting with Hamas mounted to 154. And after the army announced the deaths of 14 soldiers in Gaza since Friday, he said, and I quote, let it be clear that this will be a long war. Now, Benjamin Netanyahu also dismissed reports that the United States had convinced Israel not to expand its military activity. An earlier Wall Street Journal stated that Netanyahu was pursuing by Biden not to attack Hezbollah out of concerns it would launch an attack similar to the October 7th rampage by Hamas. As per reports, Hezbollah has begun pulling back its special forces from southern Lebanon amid fears over a surprise Israeli attack and escalation of the conflict. I told President Biden yesterday that we will fight until a complete victory, however long it takes. The United States understands that. I've seen false publications claiming that the U.S. prevented and is preventing us from operations in the region. This is not true. Israel is a sovereign state. Our decisions in the war are based on our operational considerations, and I will not elaborate on that. They are not dictated by external pressures. Now, Netanyahu justifying his policies in Gaza said that there are countries whose positions we have to take into account. And the Israeli Prime Minister added that if we don't do that, eventually there will be a UN decision to impose a blockade on US and the whole world will be against us. As per reports, the Israeli Prime Minister rebuked Economy Minister for complaining that not enough was being done to protect soldiers' lives. And the minister said, and I quote, Soldiers are being sent to booby-trapped buildings like sitting ducks and the result, he claimed, were tactics that are unnecessarily endangering soldiers. In a post perceived as a rebuke, uh, War Cabinet Minister Benny Gantz praised soldiers and said that they are receiving all the necessary tools. He also stated that ground forces are getting widespread and accurate aerial cover with unprecedented power. Now, five Israeli hostages killed in Hamas captivity were recovered from an underground tunnel network in the northern Gaza Strip. And Chief Military Spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagri stated that post-mortems were pending. Now, Israeli President Isaac Herzog delivered a nationally televised speech on Sunday, appealing for the country to remain united. Tentative efforts continue on talks for another exchange of hostages for Palestinians held by Israel. We are at war, of no choice justified, correct and moral. The righteousness of the way prevails over everything. This moment is a test. We will not break, nor blink. We shed a tear and continue together. Two released detainees and a medic said that Palestinians apprehended by Israeli forces have been subjected to torture in custody, including beatings and food deprivation. The Israeli army rejected the claim, saying detainees are treated in accordance with international law. They kept us in containers and took us to a border area, a freezing cold place where they poured water in us. Freezing cold water that made us shiver from the cold. Then they took us to the prisons and tortured us, beat us. We were forbidden from speaking. We were blindfolded and handcuffed all the time. They only handcuffed our hands in the front instead of behind our backs. We were hungry. They baked bread but didn't feed us. We were dying of hunger. We pointed this out for days. We have been warning for days that they are preparing for this because they know that the people don't want to vote for them because they know that they will never be able to get the public's trust. Reports suggest Hamas militants opened fire on Gazans trying to get aid, while Rion could not independently verify these reports. A desperate humanitarian crisis is unfolding in Gaza. Children and families have practically no access to water, food and medicines, and the whole Gaza Strip is living with very little or no electricity.
Another battle zone footage reportedly shows Hamas group's military wing Al Qasim brigades clashing with Israeli soldiers in North Gaza, where Tel Aviv claims to have control.